guys so here we've got the rarest mini z i own and not my favorite not the best looking one and by no means my most treasured one but it is rare only 40 of them made and what i found interesting when i was reading about this car is that the um they say that this so this is basically the nissan gtr r35 and this is the ultimate metal silver version but this seems to have a bit of a, like a jade look to the paintwork so yeah so what i found interesting this is the gtr is unique because it's not simply a copy of a european design supercar it had to really really reflect japanese culture so nakamaru noted that the gtr square lines and vents were influenced by gundam robots <laughs> only in japan <laughs> That is so cool. So we know the R34 was classed as Godzilla when it was released. And that's what the Australian motoring company named it. Jeremy Clarkson called it the best car I'd ever driven and it was called the, the, the Japanese supercar. And the R35, obviously we know a lot of work went into that to make it the machine that it is. Um, but yeah, a lot of the, I mean, it was made to compete with the supercars of Europe. And again, guys, you know, you can go on YouTube and you can look at the, there's a video, uh, Undefeated Street Racer, and it's an, it's an R35. <laughs> Almost 2,000 brake horsepower, and that car is undefeated in America. I think it's Texas, where these guys do a lot of street racing. As every so often you come across a shell and you think, wow that is totally amazing and this is one of them shells it just kind of like took my breath away i just love the detail on this i like the wheels the wheels look awesome all wheel drive are a bit dry for good wheels i like the way the back spoilers totally jacked up guys and i don't get hankook it's supposed to be hancock but i like two-tone wow and the way it kind of like floats into it diagonally love it and i do like the decals on the roof as well um they've got it right really have got right with this one um i do like it guys and that's one of them cars it could just stay on that stand all day and i could just watch it go around all day well perfection man that definitely get pff, my list is probably not the top five now it's gonna be top six and even though i'm not a massive fan guys of the sylvia body shell um they seem to have some funky ones that appear to be like drifting kind of cars with some cool decals um, you couldn't really do that on your own guys. That's what really kind of drove me towards it because I do spray my own cars up I do do decals in my own cars, but that's intricate. That's amazing man. That's really nice, you know um, And that's appealing to me stuff that I'd struggle to do because it's so intricate and delicate and Well, you know, the, there's a lot of attention to detail I'd rather let someone else do the work and, and get it. These aren't these these aren't very common uh, I think I've seen all the time that I've been looking on eBay, two. Two ones come up recently as well, um, but it's not in, a, in good shape, it's been used. So yeah, that would look totally awesome in a drifting with uh, a vid, and you know, it's crying out for it, man. Okay guys, another beauty that never made it on the display stand, this is a Nissan Skyline GTR R34 V-Spec, and this is in Jade. I got this for the colour guys because I thought, yo, that's pretty different. I like the way it shines. You don't see many mini, mini Zs, but there's no other mini Z as far as I know in that colour. So yeah guys, so the maker Nissan, the model is obviously GTR R34 V spec. Um, this is in Jade and it's pretty rare. I've seen a few come up over the years, but it's still pretty hard to get hold of. The wheelbase is 94 millimeter L and it's a rear motor mount chassis the this was made for the MR01, MR015 and the MR03 with the narrow chassis plate the offset guys are one narrow on the front and one narrow on the rear okay so these generally all-wheel drive cars don't have wide wheels in the back they have narrow front and back okay and the wheels on this one guys these wheels are the ones that I've taken off my R34 police car. So they're not the stock ones that come on um, with, the, with the actual Jade R34. These wheels are the Rays GTR5. <laughs> so these wheels, guys, 
are the Rays GTR 5 spoke gun metallic wheels and I prefer these guys to the uh, other wheels that come with the all wheel drive cars okay guys here we've got the Nissan Fairlady 350Z safety car and the livery on this is the Super GT safety car this was produced in January 2010 and I found it to become much more rare I managed to get a hold of this in Europe and if you're going to get it from Japan you're looking at a lot of money some pretty pennies the wheelbase is 94mm and it's an L and this is classed as a MR03 narrow um, with a rear motor chassis type there's no offset on the front or on the, on the rear and this fair lady comes with the Nismo 5 spoke type silver wheels by Rays so this has got like many Japanese cars it's got aliases so it's known as the 350Z uh, by Nissan and it's known in Japan as the Fair Lady Z Z33 so it's the same car just got a different name in different countries and it's a two, two seat sports car and it was manufactured by Nissan from 2003 to 2009 and it marks the fifth generation I didn't think they had red lights, I just thought blue lights on emergency services were just like a must have. But obviously in Japan that's not the case. It would have been awesome if that was the uh, newer NSX, well the one that's the GT version, which is just mad. Totally blown out, beautiful. And they've got a new uh, NSX as well, which I have in um, like a metallic blue, and that's got a nice shape to it. The, this shape's obviously a bit dated, isn't it guys? But it looked pretty cool in uh, race and chase videos, so I thought, you know what, it's starting to get hard to come by, and uh, before they actually become really difficult to get hold of, uh, I might as well just get one right now. And that's what I did. So, and the last one, guys, is going to be this BMW, which is nice. Okay, so it has become rare. I am in the process guys of doing my rare mini Z's and I've got through two boxes so far, big boxes. I've got a third one left which I've got to uncover, it's like hidden and blood stuff. Uh, and once that's done I can do a compila comp two compilations, one of the ones that have become rare and the other that are officially rare. So that basically means that Kyosho said that they've only made a thousand, a thousand five hundred, two thousand, three thousand, so that's officially rare. So a bit of both. Because other ones aren't officially rare, but they're so hard to get hold of right now. Okay.